Do you ever feel super overwhelmed by what it just takes to keep your house reasonably clean? I am totally there with you. And today I'm gonna to share with you five micro habits that I use so that cleaning feels way less overwhelming, so that there's not those big tasks that feel like they'll take you all day to do while still being guest ready and knowing that you can totally tackle all of your house in just moments every day. Micro tip number one is to make your bed. Now I know what you're thinking, you've heard this all before, or maybe you've tried it and it was just not something you can stick with. I'm totally there with you. Now this one is actually just such a good game changer because if you can train yourself to do it, you can start to run an autopilot. And the way that you can do this, no matter how many times you've done it and it hasn't worked, is to make making your bed as simple as possible. I'm talking get rid of throw pillows, get rid of a top sheet if you need to. Literally making your bed can be as simple as like throwing your blanket over it, putting the pillows where they're supposed to be so it looks somewhat like a bed that has been made. Now, then what you can do is once you have that down, then you can start adding things back in. If you want throw pillows, if you want a top sheet, if you want a fancy bed spread that requires you to fluff around, you can totally do that, but get this as a second nature to you. And I promise you over and over again, day after day, it will just become autopilot for you and your bedroom and your bed will feel way more serene at the end of the day. And then you can add new micro habits on top of it. Tip number two is to do something in your toilet or your bathroom every single day. Now you definitely, this is not about deep cleaning. It's not about going over your bathroom every day. It's about something really quick and simple. So I'm talking like shoving a denture cleaning tablet into your toilet, throwing some toilet cleaner in there and flushing it the next time you're there. I'm talking about grabbing a wipe or a cloth and going over your bathroom vanity while you're in there to give it a quick once over. Now, ideally these things should take less than a minute and you will see over time that your bathrooms and your toilets will be way cleaner by just doing these. It doesn't have to be overly complicated and if you can teach the other people in your home to do one of these things every single day as well you will almost never have to deep clean tip number three is to do something with your laundry it doesn't have to be a load of washing if you don't have that many clothes to wash but maybe it's something else maybe it's getting stuff put away maybe it's remembering to take that stuff out of the dryer but if there is one thing you can do whether it is a whole load or just putting a load away or getting your drawers organized or hanging up that stuff that you didn't end up wearing all of it counts and a little bit each day is so much easier than trying to overhaul the whole thing all the time. Tip number four is kitchens. Now I know kitchens get super messy and super overwhelming and sometimes it just feels like you don't know where to start. So instead of telling yourself, I need to keep my kitchen clean all the time, or I'm gonna make sure that I never go to bed with a messy kitchen, when sometimes that's just gonna happen, I would suggest setting yourself a little micro goal. So maybe it's that all of the food after dinner is put away, any leftovers are in the fridge, so there's no food sitting out. My personal preference is that there is no dirty dishes. I don't care if there is a pile of dishes there drying that are clean. I don't care if my floors aren't perfect in my kitchen when I go to bed, but I do love to know that there are no dirty dishes when I go to sleep, whether they're in the dishwasher or drying here, that doesn't matter. Those little micro goals set you up for success. It means that you're no longer overwhelmed by this giant task that seems unachievable. You have a little job that is achievable for you. So even if it's just starting with making sure that all the dishes are clean before you go to sleep, making sure there's no trash out, any of those things are a great step and then you can build on them to making sure that your counters are cleared off and all of those other things once you have this part down pat. Let's uh, talk about floors. Floors can seem like the most overwhelming, looming task that is gonna take you 
ages to do. And I think it's because your floors feel like one continuous job. So whether you're just wanting to do one area, but it feels like the whole house needs to be done and that's not the case. So something that I learned really early on is that there is a big difference between what needs to be done on those high traffic floors and what needs to be done in those lower traffic areas. So what I would encourage you to do if floors are a problem for you, include a micro habit around floors in your daily routine. Now, how I like to do this is I just look for one space that I can do. So literally I will do just my kitchen and sometimes not my dining room. Sometimes I will lift up these chairs and do just underneath our dining room table if it's really bad. If you have a robot vacuum, this is a great way. My robot vacuum maps our whole house and so I can see everything by room. So I can set up a room and have the robot going in there. And then I know I've done at least one space in my home. I don't have to do all the floors every single day, but I can do one set of floors, one space in my home and have that done. Now, of course, if you've got kids and pets, those floors are gonna get dirty every single day. So you might still need to have a day where you do all the floors and get it tackled in one go. But as for just keeping things under control and keeping things less overwhelming, if you can add one little space, if you have a spill in your kitchen, that is a great omen that that is the space you should do today. Sweep it up, give it a mop, do the whole kitchen instead of just that area, and then you will be set for that day. And then nothing feels as big and as overwhelming as having to do your whole house floors when you don't have the time.